So I recently brought you guys two really colorful, jam-packed reviews on the NYX Primal Color Shadows and also on the Electric Palette. And some of you were asking me, well, which one should I get? How do they compare? And I told you guys on my Instagram, if you follow me there, that I promised you as soon as they come in, I will be doing a um, swatch fest for you. And I did that. If you, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen that I already did comparison swatches with the most um, closest shades. And I'm also going to be doing that live for you guys now so you can really see the difference in application versus just the color swatches. Um, between these and I also thought it would be really great to compare it to the Colored Rain Ultra Ego palette which I brought you guys a while ago because I was looking over and I was like wait a minute this palette has super bright shades as well and I feel like if you had already picked this up because I told you about it I don't want you to get like doubles or triples of the same colors or maybe too many brights for you. So let's start with the NYX shadows and the ones that compare closest to the electric palette. The ones I found that applied closest in color shade, I'm not saying quality, I'm saying color shade, would be the um, Hot Fuchsia is similar to the shade here which is Jilted. The difference between Jilted and Hot Fuchsia is that Hot Fuchsia doesn't have that little bit of um, reflection, that kind of like frosty reflection that Jilted has. Jilted kind of reflects a little bit purple, more purple than um, this is just a matte. Hot Fuchsia is just a matte. Um, then we have um, Hot Orange, and this is similar to Slow Burn, and this is Eye Safe in the United States. Um, I told you guys about the warning and all that information on how you can use it on your eyes. You just have to use your own personal discretion, and that that warning is only in the United States. But um, Slow Burn is actually a little bit lighter, but Hot Orange and Slow Burn are very similar in terms of color shade if you were looking for an orange. Um, I also showed you guys Hot Yellow compared with Thrash. Thrash is more chartreuse, whereas Hot Yellow is just more yellow. Um, then we have Hot Green. Hot Green is definitely just more of a matte green, whereas Freak is definitely a light green. I don't, I don't even think I did the swatch of that because they were so different in like terms of finish, everything. Um, then we have Hot Pink, and this is similar to... Oh, I mixed this up, I think. I think I compared Hot Fuchsia to this one, maybe? No, no, Hot Fuchsia was compared with Jilted, sorry. <laughs> Oops. Um, then we have Hot Pink. Hot Pink was compared to Savage, and Savage and Hot Pink are the closest in terms of color, in terms of application, in terms of feeling, in terms of um, pigmentation, in terms of everything. The electric palette is much better, but if you're just looking for one Hot Pink and you don't need all these colors, you can always just pick up the one Hot Pink color from NYX. And then the last one I showed you guys was Hot Blue, and that compares to Chaos. They're very similar. It also kind of compares to Gone. So I think I forgot which one I actually compared it to, but I'm going to do some live swatches for you right now. Do some comparisons for you, and then I'm going to show you colored rain and contrast. So let's start with Chaos. So Chaos is extremely smooth. This was just one quick brush of my finger against it, and you already have extremely bright color. This is, of course, without, without primer. Both of these products perform really well with primer. So this is the NYX shadow. And you can see they're really, really similar. By the way, I don't know why Chaos swatched so light because Chaos actually swatches. There we go. I just didn't rub it all on. So this is Chaos versus NYX. As you can see, very, very much the same exact color. The only difference is the um, application, whereas the the um, bleh, the electric palette is pigments, and this is a shadow. The next one I'm going to show you guys is the orange, and this one is hot orange, and I'm going to be comparing it to Slow Burn. So slow burn, rub my finger over it very lightly, and I have extreme amount of color. Then I'm going to do, this is the NYX shade, and as you can see, very similar. NYX is a little bit lighter, but very, very similar. You just need to build it up, and you definitely need to use a primer if you're using the NYX, because they do not last as long on the eye. The next one I'm going to show you is hot pink. Ow. <laughs> Here's the hot pink one, and I'm going to be comparing it to Savage. And Savage is extremely hot pink, very bright, very bold, extremely pigmented. And this is compared with the hot pink NYX, which I have to really get a lot on my hand to swatch up. But as you can see, they're extremely close. So a lot of, a lot of good dupes right now. 
Um, the next one I'm going to show you is the purple. And this is the Hot Fuchsia. It's actually Fuchsia, but for me, like, I don't know why I always think of it as purple. Um, let's see. So here you go. You can kind of see the difference. This is Jilted. This is Hot Fuchsia. So you can kind of see the reflection. But in terms of shade, they're very similar in shade. They just, one lacks that little bit of reflection. And like I said, the yellow in um, Hot Yellow and Thrash are quite different. But I'm going to swatch those up for you as well really quickly right now. So um, here's Thrash, and that's a more chartreuse, chartreuse color. And Hot Yellow is more of just a primary yellow. Um, if you're not a stickler on yellows, it's not a big deal for me. I'm a stickler. If I see it leans green, it's, it's not a dupe for me. So now I'm going to compare these shades with the Alter Ego palette in case you guys have that. So here's the Alter Ego palette again. So we have lots of similar shades. We have our pink right here, and I'm gonna... All right, so I have the pink here. This is from the Colored Rain palette. And as you can see, it's right there in the family. It's a little bit deeper, a little bit richer, but richer, but it's a little more, it's very, very pigmented. Then we have the orange from the Colored Rain palette. And this is also kind of just a deeper orange. It's more like true orange, I feel, rather than a red orange as compared to the NYX and as compared to the um, Electric palette. Then we have a blue, very similar again. I feel like this one leans a little bit closer to the Electric palette, but also it's a little bit more, um, it leans lighter than the other two. We also have a we also have a purple, but it doesn't, it's not as fuchsia, so it's not going to really fit in. But I'm going to show you the yellow because that one is close to these. So this is even more primary yellow than the other two. So you have a lot, a lot of bright colors. This Again, this is the Alter Ego palette from Colored Rain. And all three of these palettes will deliver bright, fantastically bright colors. If you're, if you're the kind of person that's looking for a little bit more neutral mix, and you're like, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with all those bright colors, this palette will offer you an entire row of more neutral colors to pair with your bright colors, which I think is great if you're new to bright colors, but if you're looking for strictly bright colors, a palette of pure bright colors, splurge and go for the Urban Decay Electric palette. If you're not sure you would use all those colors or you're a little bit turned off by the fact that some colors, some shades aren't eye safe and you just want to pick up one or two colors, maybe just one bright pink or one yellow and save $50 and just get one shade for like $4, go with the NYX Primal Colors, pick yourself up the jumbo pencil in milk and you're good to go. Your colors will pop. Today I'm wearing the electric palette on my eyes, but you can find... Um, eye looks on my Instagram with the NYX colors. You can find eye looks with the Ego palette. Everything is there on my Instagram, so please make sure to follow me. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the picture swatches of the comparisons. I'm going to take a picture of this so you can see it really up close. Um, and please follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust. Thank you so much for watching.